here's a little puzzle for you. See, here's an ice cube, kind of what's left of it. It's sort of melted. <laughs> and I'm putting it there in this glass of water, and I want you to use this string to take it out. Well, Go I've ahead. read about it in a book, but... Oh, you've read about it? Yeah, but okay. I've never tried it. You've never tried it? No. Well, first of all, you're supposed to try to take it out with just the string. Okay. Kind of tough, you think? Try yeah. it. See. See if you can pick it up. It won't work. Forget it, right? It won't work. So how are you going to get it out? Well, first, I need some salt. Salt? Yeah. Plain, ordinary, everyday salt? Yeah. Okay. Salt. Okay. Now what do you do? Okay, then I sprinkle. Well, well first, I put lay the string on the ice cube. Right on top of it, right? Yeah. And then I put a lot of salt on it, mm -hmm. on the string and the ice cube. Mm -hmm. And then you have to wait for a few minutes. Mm -hmm. Why? Right, what's going to happen? Well, the the heat. Well, it's going to. First of all, why do you put salt on the sidewalk when it's icy? To melt the. You know why snow. it melts it? When when the salt goes on top of the ice, some of it melts on the water on the top of the ice, and salt water freezes at a lower temperature than regular water. Okay. So that's why it melts it. <laughs> but in this case, as the salt is dissolving in the water around the ice cube, it's taking heat away from the water that's in the string. So it's very important that the string be wet. Okay. So you did, in effect, the water in the string is freezing it to the ice cube. That's the theory, right? Uh, yeah. Okay, if that's the case, you think we've waited long enough? Yeah. Here is a string. Slowly pull it up. Let's see if what you did was correct. Ha ha! It's, it's stuck yeah, on. Yeah, it's stuck on. <laughs> it actually froze on, right? Yeah. So now that, even though you just read it in a book, now you've really done it. Yeah. It's pretty neat. Yeah.